Welcome to this video where we'll be looking at some of the common questions that were asked around managing uh, SD-WAN networks and getting visibility into SD-WAN. Uh, my name is Brett Ayres, Services Director at Tenio, and today I'm joined by Gavin Mason-Sword, who's one of our SD-WAN experts. Thank you for having me, Brett. Uh, Gavin, the first question we often get asked is that uh, visibility and control of the WAN are, are common requirements that customers have, but how can a small IT team manage a global network? Thanks, Brett. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so the Ariba Edge Connect um, essentially is a centralized management plane. Um, they call it the Ariba Orchestrator. Um, the platform allows the management of all of the Edge Connect appliances that are out there and deployed in the field. Um, the main focus of this orchestrator, whether that be a SaaS based service or an on premise solution, is to allow the main function of a business network to be separated from the underlying physical infrastructure. So there are many great tabs for the orchestrator, um, but the most important one for the quick information gathering for the network team is the dashboard. Um, this dashboard, it gives you a, a high level view of certain aspects of the network, such as things like topology, uh, the health of the network, the overlay bandwidth, and the quality statistics of the network as well, such as jitter, latency, and loss. And this allows you to drill down into each of them from the dashboard directly as well. The orchestrator essentially allows you to give um, lean IT teams to manage a global network at scale very, very easily. SD-WAN is great at masking problems uh, on the network and making sure that users have a good experience, but is it possible for IT to actually see if there is a problem on a link and what's causing that problem? Yeah, great question, Brett. Thank you. Um, so within the orchestrator, we are able to get graphical data on the underlying transports. Um, and this is utilized on a, um, a per site in real time capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, some data from our lab. And um, so we're going to go in and we're going to select our, our DC1 appliance here and our um, branch 2 appliance as well. So with this, we can go into the appliances tree on the left hand side of the orchestrator. And from here, what we can do is we can hover over any of our appliances and go into the appliance charts. What this allows us to do is present us with a lot of metrics that can be monitored and a time period as well. So we can go from real time. We can also segment that for um, daily, seven days, and we can also do a custom time period as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll select real time data so that we can look at the underlays that are attached to these appliances. And we're going to look at the INET in underlays and the MPLS underlays as well. So as we can see, we're now getting some real time data for these metrics that we've selected here on the left hand side. So all of these metrics will provide us with a separate graph um, and that will provide us with all the metrics for troubleshooting scenarios that can be um, given to your IT teams. But it can also help your IT teams in selecting information to go back to your ISPs or your carriers with that data to say, um, Look, we can see that there is 20% packet loss on this underlying link. So it essentially enables the uh, your lean IT teams to monitor the underlay. As we all know, carriers can be um, very tricky in getting data from. So this gives you the ability to get that yourself. So lastly, uh, customers want to make sure they're getting good value for money from their WAN and they're not over provisioning on links. So is it possible to access data about link utilization? Yes, of course. Um, so we can view we can view this again from the, the same appliance charts. Um, we can either do this again in, in real time or historical data. And as this is a demo lab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate some iperf traffic to show the link utilization statistics in real time. So within the orchestrator, we have the ability to do uh, link integrity testing between two appliances. So we'll go ahead and select DC1 and branch 2 again. We'll set the bandwidth to 100 meg and uh, 10 meg as well for each site. And we'll also set the mode to be uh, an MPLS. So we're going to test this on the MPLS link to, to show you what, what can be seen. 
So once we click start on that, we'll then go back to um, the DC1 and branch 2 metrics so we can see what's happening in real time. And we'll do this for a, a 30 second interval. So as we can see here now, what we're seeing is the MPLS link throughput on this site has now risen to 100 meg. So we're able to see from those graphical user interfaces the amount of utilization that is taking place on that WAN link. So this data is constantly being gathered and it can also be seen on an average from within the appliance bandwidth utilization tab, again directly from the orchestrator. And we can add these to custom reports as well that can be emailed out if you uh, if you want to um, via uh, an email functionality within the orchestrator. And again, these can be automated as well. So all of this information can be analyzed and used to improve network efficiency. So the tools are provided there in the orchestrator via the business intent overlays. So we can globally adjust policy that can relate to things like link bonding and we can allow traffic to spill over if utilization on one link has become a problem. So Gavin, thank you very much for, for going through that today. Um, and if you have any more questions um, regarding the uh, Aruba Orchestrator or SD-WAN in general, please either contact your account manager or visit our website www.tenio.net. Thank you.